A new project from our good friend and former colleague, the great Charlie Gibson. He has a new ABC podcast with his daughter, Kate, called The Bookcase, and they are taking us inside one of the most prestigious libraries in the world. Take a look. With its ornate architecture and incredible artwork, a step into the main reading room at the Library of Congress takes your breath away. Do you still get goosebumps when you walk in here? Yes, every time. Dr. Carla Hayden is the 14th Librarian of Congress. In 2016, she made history after being appointed by President Obama. Look at it. Becoming the first African-American and the first female to hold this prestigious office. So when you walked in here for the first time as Librarian of Congress, did you think, whoa, this is cool? As a librarian, it's like, okay, <laughs> and they're paying me. <laughs> <laughs> It is the largest library in the world. It has 834 miles of shelving and over 170 million items, including rare books and original manuscripts. But deep in its inner sanctum are precious pieces of history that few ever get to see. This is really one of my favorite places because... Because preserving this uh, is, is critical to history. Dr. Hayden and her highly skilled conservation team showed us two of their most prized national treasures. We call these pinch me moments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln's original documents, including his handwritten Gettysburg Address. Dr. Michelle Crow is the library's Lincoln expert. It's on Executive Mansion stationery in Penn. And then what we think happened is he took it to Gettysburg with him, went on a tour of the battlefield, and decided to change the ending and had different piece of paper available, a pencil, and then had to make an awkward bridge between the two down at the bottom. The nation shall have a new birth of freedom. The government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Mm -hmm. In, In pencil. And Lincoln's typeset copy of his second inaugural address. Essentially, you can see Lincoln's made a script for himself. And he's literally cut and pasted these sections probably to pace himself to know where to stop for emphasis and the one that I love the most is down here because it's so deliberate mm -hmm. both parties deprecated war but one of them would make war rather than let the nation survive and the other would accept war rather than let it perish and, and the, the war, war came. came the library is digitizing documents like these so everyone can see them but the originals well, the documents are so delicate, they can only be exposed to light for brief moments. Am I looking, are these dark spots the adhesive then? They are, and so he would have glued them. It is interesting, this paper obviously has been marred in some way, and, and, mm -hmm. and how you would preserve something simply with pencil on a, on a piece of fool scrap. Uh, no small, no small task. And that's why we're very fortunate that we have the experts in our, in our preservation and conservation divisions who can give these materials that extra special treatment because of their increased iconic status. They're history wow. detectives, our librarians. <laughs> that's incredible. Something about Charlie Gibson reading an original draft mm -hmm. of the Gettysburg yeah. Address. So cool, a great podcast. The Bookcase with Charlie and Kate Gibson is out right now. You can use the QR code on the bottom of your screen right there to find their latest episode, or you can download it for free wherever you listen to your podcast. New episodes drop every Thursday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.